The Solomon's Paradox describes that experience we might have of being able to be the expert in someone else's life, but yet lack objectivity to apply the same wisdom to our own lives. I wonder if you are uh, familiar with it, that, that experience, whether you're familiar with the Solomon's uh, Paradox in your own experience. Supervision is about having the mental space and the time to be able to unravel your own thoughts in such a way that allows you to be able to have that wisdom that already exists within yourself, but be able to apply it to yourself. And what a supervisor does is listen, uh, reflect and ask the right kind of questions to get you to think in that kind of way and to help you to be able to discover the wisdom or have the objectivity that you might need to be able to move forward. There are all sorts of debates about what supervision should and shouldn't include and how it should or shouldn't be done. Um, this kind of debate around whether or not you should only have supervision from somebody who is a trained psychologist or, uh, or a trained something else. Um, this debate about whether it should be done internally or externally, uh, debates around kind of whether it can run alongside line management or not. For me, there are a couple of really, really important things about what supervision should be. First of all, it should provide a safe space for somebody who is being supervised. It should feel safe to the supervisee, uh, free from judgment, free from evaluation, uh, to give someone the space to be able to really talk freely about what's going on. And secondly, it should be an empowering process, which puts the supervisee in the seat of being able to make decisions and make decisions well for themselves. Education is one of the only front facing, if not the only front facing service that's offered to children and people where supervision isn't uh, part of the regular and normal practice. And I think that needs to change. Uh, I can see the real benefits of people who work in education at all levels being given the mental space and time to process their work more and uh, the, the, the gains that that might provide. Here at Space to Breathe, we've been thinking a lot about supervision and what we might be able to contribute to uh, being able to make supervision more available in schools. And we're really pleased to be able to offer uh, supervision as a thing, uh, as one of our services um, to those who work in education. Um, and I would really encourage you to have a little think about what that might look like in your school. And I think probably um, it needs to start by um, for leaders. Uh, having an experience of that to be able to see both the efficacy and experience what it's like for themselves um, and then maybe that's something that then rolls out across school longer term. So we're offering uh, to uh, provide some of that uh, service for you uh, and if you're interested in that we'd love you to get in touch and we'd love to chat to you a bit more about what that would involve and how that might work. Um, so do get in touch.